Hilchus to Masechum Pelik Chi, Hashem and Ehadvash and Itmu, Hashem and Dvash have a dinner of a mashke, they're from the Zion Mashkin, Vacharkach Korshu, and then they became a solid, and Vacharkach Namechu, and then they again became a liquid. So the Ram says, Harehain Rishin Lutumul Elam. They are still a Rishin Lutum, and they became a Rishin originally when they became Tomi. Mashka always, when it becomes Tomi, is a Rishin. Then it became a solid, and now it's a liquid again. So now it's still a Rishin, it's original Rishin. Nipnesha and Kemashkin, Vafalpisha, Kofu, Achish, and Nipmu. Even though in the middle they were Kofu, they were a Noicho, but nevertheless now they're back into a Mashka, and now they still retain their original Matzav of Tumma. Now, the Mice my, the is Tesis and Psochem holds that when you have a Mashka, that that Mashka became a solid, and now this solid became back a Mashka, it doesn't have a din of a Mashka. Whereas the original Mashka is a din of a Mashka. Mashenkin, if you have, for example, Shemin, which Shemin has a din of a Mashka, then it was Kofu, and now it becomes again a Mashka, so it doesn't have a din of a Mashka. And Mamele won't even be able to be Makabal Tuma, because it doesn't have a din of a Mashka. The Ram was saying, Nochmer, that, that the Shemin became Tomei, and then it became a solid, and then now it becomes a mashka again, so it still has its original tumma. Now, the, the mice is that there's a difference between shaman and vash. But the Gea shaman, the Ram said before at the end of Pedic, Pedic, the, the first Pedic, Pedic Alpha, Allah Yutes, that when shaman is a solid, it doesn't have a din, not of an oichel and not of a mashka. So the Chura, this shaman, when it became tummy originally, then had a din of original tumma. Now this shaman, when it became a solid, so Lechur didn't have a din of tumma, didn't have a din of tumma, not of a rishon, not of a, because it didn't have a din of mashka, didn't have a din of oichel, didn't have a din of mashka, didn't have a din of oichel. Now when it becomes mashka again, so it goes back to its original matzav of oichel. When the ge'er dvash, Lechur dvash, dvash does have a din of an oichel. Dvash could be makabel tumma also an oichel. So originally the dvash had a din of an oichel, of, of a mashka rather. And then the dvash became a noichel. So Lechur, at that point in time, it was a sheni. Lechur, and then now it's going back to becoming a mashka, it's becoming a rishon. I'm not sure, mate, unless you're going to say that since Lepel it was mashka, so in a it can't be makabal tumma alza oichel when it's congealed, but if it was makabal tumma alza mashka, and then now it became, an, uh, became solid, so maybe it still retains its original tumma. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the din is. Because now it's not a mashka and it's not a neichel. I'll call upon him, this din is clear. Let's say the din again. Hashem and the Yadvash shenitmu. First they became Tommy, And v'achar kach korshu. And v'achar kach nimechu. And then they became again a liquid. So then it's harei hein rishin l'tumu l'oilam. So the rishin l'oilam sounds like in the middle he was also a rishin l'tumu. Not sure. Harei hein rishin l'tumu l'oilam. Nimei shein kemashkin. V'afal pihi shekofu acha shenitmu. Even though in the middle they were kofu, but nevertheless... It has a din of a rishon letum. Allah chabes. Haroitev vahagrisin vahachol of shikarshu. Haroitev is like a soup, and grisin is like a, a soup made out of beans. And vahachol, which is a thicker soup, which also has water in it, which I have to say, because the reitev and the grisin have water in it, that's makabal tuma, al zamashka. And vahachol of a milk, which is a mashka, but shikarshu, they became a salt. So the din is all three of these, Arete, Vagris, and Vachol of Shekarshu, Harehim Keichlin, Utsrichim Machshove, in order for that the Milkabal Tumah, it's not regular Oichel, it's not, it's Oichel, that's needs Machshove, you have intention to eat it as a massive of an Oichel, and then it'll be Milkabal Tumah as an Oichel. Now, the Mnoge Bem Oichel Rishne Mashke is not so shneem because it's a din of an Oichel. Oichel is Milkabal Tumah. If an Oichel Rishin touched it or Mashke touched it, it becomes a shame. Now, if this rate in Greece and Chol of Shekarshu has moist, there's, there's, there's a mashka tifeach on it, so then it's harin kemashkin. So that mashka tifeach has a din of mashkin, and therefore they have a din of arishin, because that mashka tifeach gives it a din of arishin. And that's why it has to be the gears of Cholov. You can't say ba'chelev, because chelev, according to the Ram, chelev is not makabal tum as a mashka. It's not from the Zion mashka, so you can't say really this din that nit kmushen mashk that 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 hoye be mashkin vech are in kmashkin. So therefore, that's machriah that the girth that the pronunciation we're talking about cholov. I'll call upon nochmo. So rate of grease and cholov when they were in their solid state and you had machshava for an echel as a din of an echel and if tumma touches it, it becomes a shenilu tumma. If it's moist, so then it has a din of a mashka 
and Mele said, didn't have a tchil of Tumah. Now, Nitmu Kshehein Mashkin, they were Tommy when they became Mashka originally. And then Kofu, and then they congealed the Achrakein and the Korshu. So now is Arein Shnim. Now they have a din of Shnim. In other words, they changed from being a Rishin to being a Sheni. Kmei, Oichu, Shenitme, Mashkin Tmeim. In other words, originally they were, they were Mashkin Tmeim. And now they became Oichu. So it's like Hilu, the Mashkin Tmeim is no longer here. So the Oichu became Tommy from the Mashkin Tmeim. Which this is really the reason of Lechura to say that by Shemen, by Shemen, since Shemen is not Makabal Tumah as an Oichel, and now it was originally Mashke, and then it became an Oichel, so Lechura in the middle state of being an Oichel, so the Shemen is Bechlal not Tommy. So Lechura, there would be a difference between the Shemen and the Dvash and Halacha Aleph, because Dvash could be Makabal Tumah as an Oichel, as opposed to Shemen. It's not so clear. I'm just saying that's the reason Lechura, that's a Mokim Lesofik. But I'll call upon well, here it's clear. That if it was Makabal Tum in its original state as an Oichel, as a Mashka, and then it became an Oichel, so it becomes Shneem. Kimoy Oichel Shinitma, Mi Mashkin Tmei. Now, Nitma, this is Nitma when they were Mashka, and then they became an Oichel. Now, Nitma Kshen Kfuim, they became Tommy when they were Kfuim, when they were, when they were in their solid state. And now, Vinim Oichel, Vinasu Mashkin, and now they liquefied and they became a Mashka. So it depends. Imhoyu Bekebetsim Mechuven. If the size of the Eichel was exactly a Beitz or less, so the then is Harei HaMashken Teirin. The Mashke is going to be Torah. The Mashke that comes out of this Eichel is going to be Torah. However, Hoye Yesim Ikebeitza, but if the congealed food over here, those, this rate of Grisin or Cholov that was congealed, was larger than a Kebeitza, so then HaMashken Tmeim. Why? Because Kshet Nimoicha Tipur Rishena Nitmas Bikebeitza Eichel Tamish Nimechim Imano. Now we learned that oichel can only be matame, food or mashka, when it's the size of a kibetzel. So you have over here this this reitiv or grisim or cholov that 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 are that's in a solid state, and it's makabel tuma. It's makabel tuma even by mashu, but now it's becoming liquid. So now the liquid has to become tame from the solid. The solid has to be matame the liquid. Now in order for a solid to be matame a liquid, the solid has to be a kibetzel. So if the solid was more than a kibetza, so then when it starts becoming liquid, so obviously there's still a kibetza left in the solid, so that kibetza of the solid could make the liquid tummy. And we may leave when the solid becomes less than a kibetza, but the rest of the, the liquid which became tummy, it'll be matami the rest of the liquid, because liquid doesn't have to be a kibetza. Even a mashu of mashka could be matami mashka. Masha inkin, if the original solid was only a kibetza or less, so when the liquid starts coming out of that, 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 that solid, there's nothing to be metamid, because as soon as the liquid comes out of the solid, the solid is obviously a little less than a kabetza. No, once it's less than a kabetza, it can be metamid. So therefore, the liquid is not tamid, it's not hamid. If we have these three things, the rate of grisim and chol of shikarshu. So if they became tamid when they were in their liquid state, so then when they were karshu, they have a din of a shein litoma. In their liquid state, they had a din of, of a rishin. Mashenk, in their in their solid state, they have a din of a shein. When they become a solid, they have a din of a shein. If I cared, if they became tummy in their solid state, and now they became a liquid, so if they they were originally more than a kabetza, so then the liquid is a rishin litoma. And if they weren't originally more than a kabetza, they were a kabetza or less, so then the liquid that comes out of it is 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 uh, is 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 toir. That's what he's saying. <clears throat> That's what he's saying. Nochmo shak shem ni moicha tipa rishena. When the first tipa falls out, is dachnit hoi yesim kibetza is a mashkin tmeim why shak shem ni moicha tipa rishena. When the first tipa became liquid, is dachnit mis bikibetza echol tami shnim shnim mechim imano. It became tami from that kibetza of oichel tami that it became liquid from. Because the Eichel started as more than a Kabetza. So the first Tipa still has a Kabetza of Eichel. And the Eichel a Tipa, and that Tipa is the Tami, Kol HaMashken, Shini Meichel Achra. That's this din, Benigeya, we have Eichel, we have, we have this rate of Gris and Cholov that could be in a solid state or could be in a Mashka state. And the difference whether it became Tami as Mashka became solid or it became Tami as a solid, and then it became Mashka. Now this same principle, the Chaint may mess, you have Zeisim Vanovim that are Mukshul Kabbal Tumah, 
And now, so obviously, these Zaysim Vanovim that were squeezed by this Tmei mess is Tomei. The Zaysim Vanovim are Tomei. Now, the question is, is the mashka that comes out of the Zaysim Vanovim Tomei? So I say, Im hoyu kibetzim achuvim. If the Zaysim Vanovim were exactly a Beitza, is hare ha-mashkin ha-yetzim em teirim. The mashka are Torah, bulvat shuli yigabim kem ha-mashka. As long as the Tmei mess never touched the mashka. Why? Ka ha-mashka kemufkid veichu. The mashka is not part of the oichel. He's not part of the zayas. He's mufkid. There's like mashka in the oichel. The, the, when he touches the oichel, the oichel became tummy, but the mashka didn't become tummy with the oichel by him touching the oichel. It's mufkid beichel. Ukiiluhu gufacher. So therefore, you have mashka in the zayas. So meila. So when you start squeezing out the mashka, you have to see whether the zayas will be able to be tummy the mashka. The fact that he touched. The Zayas wasn't the Tami the Mashka. But on the other hand, the question is, is the Mashka to become Tami from the Zayas? Because if they were more than a Kabetza, so then why Shakivan Shiyotsa Tiparishena is Nitmis Nikabetza. Because it became Tami from the Kabetza, with Tim Akola Mashkin, it became Tami from all the Mashka. So we made this the same principle. The principle is that mashka that comes out of an oichel, so you need that the oichel should be matami the mashka. So for oichel to be matami the mashka, it has to be a kabeitza. So if this oichel was more than a kabeitza, so as soon as the mashka starts coming out, the oichel is still a kabeitza. So it can be matami the mashka. Masha'inkin, if this oichel is exactly a kabeitza or less, so as soon as the mashka comes out, the oichel is the less than a kabeitza, and therefore it can't be matami the kabeitza. So we're learning these two dinam. I know we're learning over here. We had the first case where the rative and the grisim of the cholov, which were a solid, and and now it became liquefied. So we're saying that liquid that's coming out of this solid is not tummy. Why? Because it, it's not tummy. Because it 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 it, it, it the, the oichel can be matamit. Now the fact that it was part of the oichel originally doesn't make it tummy. You know. The oichel became tummy as an oichel. You have to. The oichel became tummy as an oichel. It didn't become tummy as a mashka. And since it didn't become tummy as a mashka, so you can't say it should become tummy part of the original situation. The, it, the part of the original situation, it, it, it was an oichel. Since it was an oichel, so therefore it didn't become tummy. Now when it becomes a mashka, it can only become tummy from this oichel that's becoming a mashka. That's lechore the pshat. Because over here, in the mashka. With, with the with the rate of grisim cholov, you can't say it's mufkat in there. It's not, there's something and something else. Over there, the oichel is becoming a mashka. And nevertheless, we say that mashka is not tummy. Why? Because it became tummy as an oichel. Now it's a new mitzvah, it's called a mashka. A mashka never became tummy. The mashka has to become tummy from the oichel. And therefore, the oichel has to have a kibetz in order to become tummy. Masha'in kim benegeh, the zesim is different over there because over there, the pshat is the, the mashke that's that was in the zesim was mashke. The chura the, the mashke and the zesim were originally mashke. That's what we're saying. It's mufkid beichel. It's not part of the eichel. It's mufkid beichel. So we're saying that the eichel didn't become tummy. The eichel became tummy, but the mashke which was in the eichel didn't become tummy. The mashke that didn't was in the eichel didn't become tummy. And now when the mashke comes out, it is becoming tummy. Vice versa, if the mashke would have been not mufkid in the echel, but it would have been mamish be considered absorbed in the echel. So then the mashka would have become tummy, even while it was in the echel, because it was in the echel al mashka. In the case of the first case by Reitav and Grisim Cholov, it was part of the echel, it wasn't mashka in the echel. Over there it was echel, and now it's mashka, so it's like a new Indian. Mashengan over there, over originally was also the wine and the, and, and the oil, but it was the wine and the oil, not as part of the of the grape or not part of the the, the zayis, it was mufkid in there, so therefore it didn't become tummy with it. As luchur, you have to explain the chiluk. But the nukudas advarim is that in order for the mashka to become tummy, the the oichel has to be a size of a kibetza. So therefore, before it starts coming out, it has to be more than a kibetza. Now that's talking about if he became tummy through maga. However, zov v'zov if the seichet was Azov or Azov, and he's mitame, also behesed, by him moving something, it becomes tummy. Is a filus sochad garger echid yechidish le hukshar vile noge be mashka. Or knows he 
he went ahead and took a grape, was never mukshul kabul tumah, so the grape never became tummy. And and it never and he and this Zov never touched the mashka. But nevertheless, a mashka tummy. Why? Shekiv and Shiatz's tipa rishena is nitmus b'masa Zov. The tipa doesn't have to become tummy through the grape. He doesn't have to become tummy through the Zov touching it. He becomes tummy through the Zov moving this mashka. Shekiv and Shiatz's tipa rishena nitmus b'masa Zov. Shazov shenasa echlon emashkin tmeim k'meshu biyanu. When a zov carries echlon emashkin, so that's a new din. That's the special din of a zov that a zov by moving something also becomes tummy. There's no other tumah that there's such a tumah called tumas hesed that by him move the tummy moving something becomes tummy. Normally the the the, the matame b'masim is fakert. The tor is carrying the tummy. Person that's tor is carrying the tummy. That's masa. Tumas hesed means over here the tummy is moving the tor. And that's a special din by Zov v'chaveirov. V'chein Zov shechol v'soeiz is also hachol of Tomei. Why? Shekiv and Shiyot says Tipa Rishena is nitmas masa Zov. By the Zov moving that Tipa Rishena, so Memele, that Cholo became Tomei. Now you need, in Luchur, you need a little beer. The Ram said before that the mashke was mufked ba'echol. There's mashke which is mufked ba'echol. Now Luchur, ain't a chinami, the, the, the Tomei didn't touch that mashke because it was mufked ba'echol. But if you're talking about Tumas Mas Hesit, by moving it, is Lechure, there's Mashke in this Eichel, and the Zov, Lechure, moved this Mashke, which was in the Eichel. So why do you have to wait for the, for the Tumat? The Ram is saying when the, when the Mashke comes out, so then the Zov was Mutamid the Mashke because he moved the Mashke. So you have to say that the Mashke Vaisis, while it's in the pre, doesn't have a din of Mashke. Atke de Kach, that it can't be Makabal Tumah. It can't be Makabal Tumah, it doesn't have a din of Mashke. It doesn't have a din of mashka. And therefore, it can't be makabal tumal mashka. So if that's the case, so why do you have to say before that the reason why the mashka wasn't makabal tumal is because a mashka kemufkut ba'echol. The reason why the mashka is not makabal tumal because the mashka doesn't have a din mashka. I'm saying, l'chur over here, it could l'chur be makabal tumal has it. Elamai, it doesn't have, it's not chakrit be makabal tumal has it because it doesn't have a din masa, mashka. So l'chur, how does it stim that before we're saying that it wasn't Mikabal Tumah because Hamashke Kamufkid Beichel. So Vedev is explaining why there was no Maga on this Mashke. But Lachura, the Mashke is not begathered in Mikabal Tumah. Vahar Raya has it also wouldn't, wouldn't work. Lachura, it's a shtikal har. Halachi Gimu. Kedera Shemaleya Kvashim Shulchulun. You have a pot which has like pickles, things that are being pickled of Chulun. Vyotz over here it says Aleim, but they, they fixed the gears of Vyotz, Ola Chutz Ligdera. So a leaf of these uh, vegetables are being pickled when is outside of the gdeir, and v'noga ava tuma irishin ba'ola shechutz l'gdeir b'mokem anoga. Now this leaf has a din of an oichel. So we're talking about an oichel. And v'noga ava tuma irishin ba'ola shechutz l'gdeir. An ava tuma or irishin touched this leaf, and he touched it b'mokem anoga in a dry part of this leaf. So you have a leaf sticking out of the gdeir, and he person he goes ahead and. Touches the leaf and the dry part of the leaf. And Vice says the whole leaf that's outside the Gdera is, is dry, as we'll see by Hemshech. Is Avel Pishi Yesh Ba'ola Kibetza. So this Ola could be Matami. So the dim is Hu Tami Vakiltur. So this Ola doesn't transmit Tuma to what's going on in the Gdera. Even though the Ola is attached to the inside of the Gdera, and he's also touching the Mashka, which is inside the Gdera. But Lepel, he's outside the Gdera and he's sticking into the Gdera. So there's a din that this Ola, even though it's a kabetza and, and the Ola became Tame, but nevertheless, everything else is Torah. The Ola is Tame, but the Ola doesn't transmit Tuma into the Kedera, by, even though it's touching the Kedera. Now, however, Chazal Kedera, if this Ola goes, it's like Din Mechudish. Chazal Kedera, if this Ola went back into the Kedera, so then Timas HaMashkin Shiba, then he was Metame the Mashkin, which is in the Kedera, and then the nitmas agdeira v'cholak voshim. Once the mashke and the gdeira becomes tummy, so the gdeira also becomes tummy because mashke and tmeim when it becomes tummy as a din the original tuma and it's metame the gdeira it's a din the rabbanon and also the cholak voshim everything else that's in the gdeira. That's talking about that the ola outside the gdeira was dry. However, noga ba ola shechutz the gdeira and v'hoye be mashke over here it's not the vort is that he touched the mashke. We'll see b'hemshech. It means there's, there's mashke on this Allah, and that mashke on the Allah extends until the Gdeir. 
Because this mashka on the day on the Ola is not like an isolated place on the Ola. The, the mashka on the Ola is connected to the mashka on the Gdeir. There's like a there's there's wetness on the Ola which goes all the way to the Gdeir. Is I say im yesh ba Ola kebeitzah. If the Ola has a kebeitzah and therefore the Ola could transmit to me, is hakil tummy. Everything is tummy. Knows the whole Gdeir is tummy. Why? Shaha Ola mitami mashke shala. So we see clearly. He didn't touch the mashke. If he would have touched the mashke, so you don't need that the ola should be metame mashke sholok. Even though before it wasn't so clear. Naga ba ola shechutz legdera ba hayi be mashke means there's mashke on the ola, but he didn't touch the mashke. So as I say, sha ola metame mashke sholok. The 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 ola the leaf is metame the mashke which is on the on the ola. But ha mashke metame because the mashke should be gdera, and therefore metame is called gdera. Now, that's the that's this din. So we have this din of this all is uh, this all is sticking out of the gdera, depending if it's dry or wet. If it's dry completely, so it's not metame anything in the gdera unless it goes back into the gdera. If it's wet, so then it's metame the moisture on the ola, even though he didn't touch the moisture, he touched the ola. It's metame the moisture on the ola, and that moisture is metame the gdera, and eventually metame everything that's in the gdera, including the gdera. Now now we have another din. <coughs> You have like vegetables or pickles of truma that's in a pot. And veneer Asit Fulyam, that's Fulyam went and he stirred this pot. This pot is that's pickling uh, vegetables of truma. Now, after he after he stirred the pot, and he sees that his hand has moisture on it. He's not sure how the moisture got there. Sophic Manan could be that it spritzed from the Gdera and then it's nothing. Then he did, it wasn't a tummy anything. Some 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 moisture of the Gdera spritzed on the same is not a problem. It's possible that he touched one of those vegetables. And if he touched one of those vegetables, so then they it became tummy. So the din is Hayerik puzzle. The Yerik is puzzle because there's a suffix on each one of those vegetables. Maybe he he he, he touched it. Because even if Lepel, he touched the Yerek, so we learned before that a Tful Yem is only Poisel, Poisel is Satruma. He's not Matami Satruma, and even the Mashki is not Matami. He's only Poisel is Satruma, and that Psul would never be able to go and be Matami the Gdera. So even according to the Tzad, that he actually touched the Yerek, the Gdera is going to be kosher. Now it's brought down that if Marshall there is a hundred times, knows he may have touched one Yerek, but there's there's a hundred. There's 101 pieces of yarek. So even if you touch one yarek and that yarek is tame, it's bottled on the 100 pieces. So then even the yarek is tar because the din is the truma, the truma tmei becomes bottled in, in meya. If there's meya vechot. Allah adalat. Tamei shal yoichel anovim mukshar. He was eating anovim, grapes, and they were mukshar lekabel tumah. So obviously the grapes that he was eating became tame. And then v'nafal mimenu garger yichidi legas. And one grape fell into the gas, into the gas which has anovim, other things. Is Imhoyashalim, if this garger that fell in was a complete garger, for the initially menu and it didn't, in other words, the stem which is in the grape also didn't fall out. It was a grape still with the stem, so there was no liquid coming out of this grape. Is that gastor? Because the pale knows, even though the grape is tummy, but the grace is the chles, than a kabetza. A, gr- a normal grape is less than a kabetza. So therefore, it can't be matami anything. However, if the stem of the grape was taken away, so there was already a little liquid coming out of this grape. And it was grapes that were muchon and ba'avit to create some of the dark. They were already lying in that pit where, where you put the grapes in order to prepare them, in order for them to be pressed. And when 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 Anovim are in such a situation in this Ovid to Kyetzaban, Shari Yetzab Raitzab Mashka Yetzima. So he wants that mashka, so that mashka is it in mashka, like we'll learn later on in Pedic Yudalev, that when you when the Anovim are in a, a situation where another mashka is it in mashka, only if you want the mashka to come out. But since we're dealing that they're in an ovid, so you want the mashka to come out, so that little bit of liquid that's coming out of the grape has it in of mashka. And you were holding that grape, so that mashka also became tummy. So mamel is nit mahagas betipas mashka shabresh agargim makamokas. So the gas became tummy with that little bit of mashka, which was in the head of the of the grape, in the plates of the stem. 
No, because mashke is metame bekolshu. Mashke tmeim is metame bekolshu. And mashke tmeim, in order to become tommy, has to be mashke that was berotzen, and as it became mashke berotzen. So again, so if you're talking about a novel that doesn't have an ukets, so mail it is a little bit mashke sticking out from it. And they're talking about a novel which are mukhon and so you're happy about that mashke that's coming out because it's going to help you. You want to, you want to press the grapes and it's the, the grape. The mashka coming out is good for the grapes. So then, so that mashka is in a mashka. Now that mashka can be metame, everything that's in the gas. That's this thing. Noflu mimenu anovim. Over here we're talking about it wasn't one grape, but it was actually a bunch of grapes. And then you took this bunch of grapes, which were tummy, because you were holding it. Someone that was tummy, it was mukshu lekabel tummy, was holding it. And then you went ahead and took this bunch of grapes. Vidorchan bemakim mufni. You, 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 you squeeze them in a place where it didn't have any wine, it didn't have any other grapes. It was a, an empty space. You took this bunch of grapes, which were tummy, and you squeezed them in a place where there was no other grapes, no other wine. If the grapes together, and you look at all the grapes in the bunch as one thing, if all together there was a kebetza mechoven, exactly a beitza, is a mashkin, a yitzmem teherim, k'mishu biyarnu. Because this mashkin never became tamay, and now when it starts coming out, so then... The, 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 the grapes are less than a kibetza. However, you ate some kibetza. If it was more than a kibetza, is I ate some amtami, which is the same principle. Shekim and Shiyatz is tipa rishena. Once the first tipa came out, when it was more than a kibetza, so there was still a kibetza left in order to be matami. Is dachnit mis be kibetza, became tami with the kibetza. And then a matami is called amashka yetzachra. Now, this then is only if you're dorchem be mufna. Mashenkin, if you go to a place where there's already mashka there, and those, you have mashka over there, which is lying there, so as soon as you put the grapes down, even before you start squeezing it, so the, so the wine becomes tummy. Or even if there's other grapes there, you mix it with other grapes, so when you start squeezing it, it's possible that the wine will come out of the other grapes before the wine comes out of these grapes, and then there'll be mashka to become tummy from these grapes, which are kebets. So and if there's only these grapes... And these grapes have a kibetza. So obviously, as soon as mashka comes out from these grapes, it's going to be less than kibetza. But if you mix it with other grapes, it's possible that the mashka will start coming out from the other grapes before these grapes become less than the kibetza, before any mashka starts coming out of these grapes. And then that mashka becomes tummy from these grapes, and then all the mashka will become tummy. So therefore, it has to be talking about that it's a mokim mufna, a place where only these grapes are there, and you're squeezing it. So the mashka that comes out if it's more than a kibetza, it becomes tummy. And if it's not only a kibetza, it doesn't become tummy. Not sure really what's this nuflu mimenu anovim mean. Because before we were talking about nuflu mimenu gagi yechidi legas. And the question is if the whole thing became tummy. Over here, it's nuflu mimenu anovim. I'm not sure what nuflu means. Lachura, we're taking a bunch of grapes and you're squeezing it. The question is where are you squeezing it? Are you squeezing it in the gas? Or are you squeezing it with others? Or are you squeezing it by itself? Halacha yeah. hei. Gush shall zaysen tmeim shall hoye mechubitz u mechuber. So you have a gush, a whole one, 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 one solid mass of zaysen tmeim that were together and united. Veshlichei letecha taner, and he threw the zaysen into a oven. Vuhusak, and it got burnt. So obviously the mashke started coming out of the zaysen at some point in time. The mashka started came, coming out of the zaysim before it was burnt. Zimhoya kebetzim mechuvin. If this gushel zaysim was exactly a beitzah, is atan or tor? Why? Sheino echle metam in kelim. Mashke tmeim could be metam kelim. Mashein can echle tami could never be metam kelim. So the zaysim could never be metam of kelim. But the zaysim, the, the liquid that comes out of the zaysim, if they become tami, they could be metam the tanner. So the question is, did the liquid become tummy? What well, line of community did the liquid become tummy? Did the tower become tummy? That's the same. If this this gushel zaysim was kibetzim mechuvin, is a tanner tor? Why? Sheino eichel metam kelim. The eichel mar datn metam kelim. Vamashka yitzmem tor. And the mashka, since it was only a kibetzim mechuvin, so the mashka never became tummy because as soon as the mashka started coming out, the eichel was less than a kibetzim. However, hoya gush yesim kibetzim. If this gush was larger than the kebeza, 
is not more tannus than the tannus does become tummy. Shekshiyotz is tipa achas, the chnit no bikabetza, like we learned until now, that the first drop comes out is metam bikabetza, and the timas atanan, that's metam the tanner. The fichach im, so this whole din is only when they're mekubitz and mechuber. Mashainkin, mazesim atmeim, prirudim veinam gush, even if you put in zesim tmeim into a tanner when they're not one mass, is a filahin mea tanner tor, because the only reason why it's tome is because the kabetza would be metami the mashkin. When could it be metami the mashkin at the kabetza? Only if they're one mass. Mashkin, if they're not one mass, they don't have a din of a kabetza. Halachavov. Eitzim shenivlu behem mashkin tmeim. There were mashkin tmeim that were absorbed by eitzim, and then the hisikon, and then you put it into a tanner, and you and you use it as firewood, and obviously that mashkin tmeim came out of the of, of the eitzim. So the din is a tanner tor. Why? Shari bottle of eitzim. One day, once they were absorbed by the eitzim, so they no longer have a din of mashkin tmeim. When they come out, they don't have a din of mashkin tmeim. Now vafilo hoitzu eitzim shiplo aleim kshom. You had eitzim which were absorbed, mashkim tmei, and then you put the eitzim outside, and you wanted that rainwater should go onto it. And the nuflu lirtzainer, so the rainwater went onto this, onto this eitzim, and mele, they're able to be makabel tuma this, 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 this rainwater. And then the sikon, and then you put it into a, a tanner, and then obviously the mayim tmei, which were in the, the, the eitzim, came out, and Lechura, let it be metame, the Mayim, which is on top of the Eitzim. So then there's also a Tanur Torah. The Eina Mayim Shalem is Tam, and Amashkim Abluim Bem. The Mayim, which is on top of them, shouldn't be, doesn't become Tami from the Mayim, because we're saying that the Mayim that's in, absorbed by the Eitzim becomes bottled in the Eitzim. And therefore, not only can, could it not be metame with the Tanur, it also cannot be metame the water, which is on top of the, the, the Eitzim. Then the Ram says, Nochadin. And when you have eitzim, which has water on it, is the yasikim elav yadayim tetis. When you put it into the tanner, you should only put it in with yadayim tetis. Why? Because zera shal yasikim atome, and v'nimzu amash k'mishalim metames atanner. Now, the emes is that yadayim is the metames mashka. Yadayim is metame mashka. And any tome which touches mashka becomes, the mashka becomes tome, and it becomes a rishon tome. However, by Yodayim, there's a din that since Lepel, this tum of Yodayim is, doesn't have a sherish in, in the Deiraisa in a, in a, in a so therefore, even though it makes Mashkin to a Rishin, but it, it doesn't enable this Rishin to be able to be Metamekelem. There's a special din there, Abonin, that a Rishin can be Metamekelem, but a, a Mashka, we learned before, a Mashka, which became Tommy from Yodayim or even from a, or from a person that became Tommy through the fact that he ate Eichum Tmeim or Mashkim Tmeim. So these are dinim, which kol, kol din is only a drabonon. Sayadayim inside this din of someone that ate Mashkim Tmeim or Eichum Tmeim. So Memelis, even though he could make, not like at full yam, he could make a Mashke into a Rishin, but not Legabe, that he should be able to be Metamekel. So Memelis, so when this person that has Yadayim so obvious touches this firewood, which has water on it, Really, that's not a problem because even though the water is going to become tummy, but that tum is not going to be able to go and be matami the tanner. But there's a chashaj that maybe a different tummy will go ahead, which is the sharshe from from a panava tum, someone that became let's say tummy from a sharet, and then he'll go ahead and do it as well with the thought that there's no problem. So that's why there was the gzeira. That's nachamov. The asikin elavi adaim tehidus. You shouldn't the person that puts in the this wood with the mashka on top of it should use the yelang tehidus. If a tommy will do it, so then the mashkin will become a rishin and that type of a rishin which will be able to be metami the tan. Halacha zayin. Sheretz shenimtza birechaim shel zesim. You find the sheretz in a in a place where you 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 press where you where you grind zesim. So the din is ain't tummy, alumikem magoy. The only place, the place where the sheritz is touching, that's tummy. But pastors, the, the zesim aren't the size of a kabetza. So therefore, the zesim can't transmit the tumma. Now, amhoyim hashke mahalach, if there was mashke going under there and the sheritz touched, that's how the ram, the, 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 the sheritz touched the mashke. So then, ha killed tummy, then all the zesim become tummy. Why? Because shekiv and shenitma mixes a mashke. Once the sheritz, Touches part of the mashka is the chnit makuli, so the entire mashka becomes tummy. All the 
Mashka is considered united. And then Vashem, the time is called Azazim. Then the Shem is Mutam and Azazim. So if it touches a Zayas, so one Zayas is not going to be the other Zayas, because the Zayas is not going to be Kabul Tuma, but it can be transmitted to him because it's not a Shira Kibetza. But if it touches the Mashka, so the Mashka, all the Mashka becomes Tommy, and Mashka transmits it to him, and is my Mashka, there's no Shira. Vashem, the time is called Azazim. That's the number one. So you have Shem that's Nimsal Gabi Azazim. Then you have the Shemen, which is by the Mashka, which is Mahal. Now, Nimsal Gabi Ha'olam Lamailam and Azesim. It's not actually touching any of the Zesim. It's on top of the leaves. And the question is that the people that are working there, which was Amaratsim, did they touch the Sheretz? Is Yishalom and Abadodim. You could ask the Abadodim. Im Omro Leino Gainor. They say Leino Gainor and Nemono. The Nemono to say that they didn't touch the Sheretz. That's the. Now, Nimsal Aim Shal Zesim. Till now, we, the first thing was he found the. Mikema Goya on a place which is less than a Kazayas. However, Nimtsa al Imshal Zaysim, he was found, he found it on an Imshal Zaysim. Is Nit Makola Gush Kmeshabiyano. So the Imshal Zaysim, Imshal Zaysim means a solid mass of Zaysim, which is larger than a Kabetza. That, 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 that uh, uh, he found that the kids, the whole Gush becomes Tommy. Now, Nimtsa al Gabi Zaysim Pirurim, if he was if it found on Gabi Zaysim Pirurim, it was the Zaysim. Which are separated from each other, but lapel, there's one part over there that's a kabetza, but who the kabetza? And he's touching kabetza. So you have a a, a, a whole another look, the floor is filled with, with zesim. There's one place over there which is the shear of a kabetza. Under it there's mashka, under it is mashka. So he goes as a who the kabetza, and he's touching a place which is the size of a kabetza. So it's hakil tummy. Every all the zesim become tummy. Why? Shahu shu kabetza. Metami ha mashka murabem, the oich which is a kabetza is metami the mashka, but ha mashka metami shara zesim. That's talking about when the pirurim were lying on next to each other. In other words, they were lying side by side and they were all sitting in the in the in the mashka. However, hoyu pirur magabi pirur, there were pieces on top of pieces, and ba mashka will matter, the ones on top aren't sitting in mashka. So by touching the ones on top, even if it's a kabetza, it's not touching the mashka. Is even though he touched the kibetz, in Tommy it became magoy. Only the place where he touched, and also the place where that kibetz touches. In other words, it, it doesn't transmit the tumah to the entire thing. It just transmits the tumah from one to the other. So, so, so it becomes, let's say, a rishonu tumah, and the one next to it becomes a shenu tumah. So the place where the kibetz touches, that becomes tummy. So basically, we're learning over here that if you have a sheretz. So if the sheretz touches a, a zayis, so that zayis becomes tummy. But on the other end, the zayis won't transmit tummy. It won't transmit tummy. tummy. If the sheretz touches mashka, so the mashka t- becomes tummy, and then all the mashka becomes tummy. All the mashka becomes tummy, and then the mashka transmits the tummy. How that is that? That's the you say that word. Halacha ches. Am oritz sheheshit yodav legas v'nogeh be'eshkelis and he touched a bunch of grapes. So the din is Eshkel, so that bunch of grapes which he touches, which has a din of one mass, and also the Chol Svivese of any bunch of grape which that Eshkel is actually touching is Tmeim. Because we assume that Eshkel has a din of a Kabetza, the Spashas it's Kabetza, so the Mele, so that Eshkel becomes Tommy, not because it's a Kabetza, it becomes Tommy, because it comes Tommy. But then since it's Kabetza, so it can transmit Tumma, and so Eshkel, the Chol Svivese of Tmeim. There's, there's this Eshkel which is Tommy, there's the Eshkel next to it which also became Tommy, but on the other end, the Eshkel, the other Eshkel, the other, the other grapes which are in the gas don't become Tommy because they're not touching the one that originally became Tommy. Halachetes. Hagefes v'hazagim shenasu betarim. So you have over here the peels of grapes or olives that was done the tara. And now the whole and now people that are tummy walked on top of these gefes and zagim. And mashke came out of it. So the din is hare elu tehirin, the mashke is tor. Why? Shemitchila nasu betara. So since it was metchila nasu betara, so this mashke which is coming out of it doesn't really have a din of mashke, it doesn't have a din of mashke. It was, there was no Tumah de Kamashka there. there was the original, and, the, and it didn't become Tommy. In other words, by the fact that they walked on it, it didn't become Tommy. It didn't, mashka didn't become Tommy. However, if originally, 
they made this wine and this oil betume. So what happened was was that this th- these gefes and zagim were soaking in tamidika oil or wine. So obviously the oil and the tamidika oil and wine was also absorbed in them. So now when the mashke comes out of this gefes and zagim is coming out tamidika mashke. Whereas it doesn't become tummy while they're in the gefes and the zagim. That doesn't have a din mashka to become tummy while they're in the gefes and the zagim. So Mimela, when the tummy dika people walked on top of the gefes and the zagim, they weren't matami anything. Mashainkin, if they were originally, they were soaking in, in oil or wine that's tummy, and that oil and wine that was tummy was absorbing them, and now it came out, Lavdafke through tummy dika people walking on it. Anyway, it came out, so that mashka has a din of tummy. Nochmo. Ha gefes va zagim, shinasu betada. And then the whole chalim tmeim, and then and then vacharkach yotzim and mashkin. So we're not going to say that since the tmeim went on them and now mashkin came out, so the mashkin has shaved them tuma harel teirim. The mashkin is tov. Shemitchil and asu betaras since betchil and asu betaras, so this mashkin doesn't become tummy. The mashkin which was absorbed in the gefes and the zag, which came out after the tmeim walked on it. However, the nasu betchil asu betuma. If the originally when they when they pressed the olives and the, and the grapes, it was betuma. And then later on, the Yotzim and Mashkin, then it became Gefes Vizagim. And then later on, is Yotzim and Mashkin. So this Mashka also has the Tomidika wine or oil that was absorbed in it, which was there, which was soaking it. So then it's named. So that, that, that wine that comes out, or, or oil that comes out later, is Tomid. Halacha Yud. Habadodim Shenichnosim Biyetzim. Habadodim are the people that are working in the wine press or the, in the olive press. And they're, they're walking in or walking out. Umashkin tmei in betech beisabad. And there is mashkin tmei over there in the beisabad. And the pastor says they walked on that mashkin tmei, tummy. So they walked on mashkin tummy and they're, and they're walking barefoot. So there's mashkin tummy on their feet. Now the din is the mashkin tummy could be metami kalim. But it cannot be metami odom. If a odom touches with his hands mashkin tummy, so then his hands that, didn't, that he has to become... As he touches a rishon l'tumah, mashkatam is always a rishon l'tumah. So then he has to have matil shidaim. That's the special din of matil shidaim. Mashiach a person does, touches not with his hands any other part of his body. So then the, he doesn't become tummy from mashkin tummy. So now habadodim shenichnosim v'yetz and they're walking in and out. O mashkin tummy in b'teich beis habad and there's mashkin tummy in this beis habad. And then we could assume or we could certainly be worried that they walked on this mashkin tmeim, and then they walked to the grapes, and were to the, to the olives, and started pressing it with their feet. So the question is, if that mashkin tmeim are touching these zesim, these hazei. Im yesh bein mashkin lezesim, kedei shi inagbo lesraglei baritz. In other words, there's enough space between the area where there's mashkin tmeim, and the area where there's these olives, that when they walk, their feet will become dry, so as I realize, we assume that their feet became dry. Why? Because if he would have become Tomei, so obviously it wouldn't have helped that the Zaysim became dry. He's Torah. He would be Tomei. But since a person doesn't become Tomei by touching Mashkin Tomei with his feet, so the only problem is that maybe the Mashkin Tomei are still on his feet and those Mashkin Tomei are now on those olives. So we're saying no, that the, we, we assume that the, the, his feet became already dried from walking from the place of the mashkin tmeim to the olives, and he himself is not tummy because you don't become tummy from mashkin tmeim by touching it by, with his feet. So, so therefore, the zesim are tur. Vafilu lekedish. Those zesim are even tur lekedish because we're not cheshish that that mashkin tmeim ever was transferred to the zesim. Yeah, that's the number one. Now the new din. Kikri sakedish shahoyu behem gumeis. So you have a kicker, a loaf, and in that loaf there's some cavity in that loaf, and in that cavity there's mashkin of kedush. There's mashkin of kedush in that cavity. Now mashkin, as we know, could transmit tuma from one to the other, and there's no hagbalas. Mashaikin oichel, there is hagbala. There's hagbala that it's only, in other words, by chulin it's only, it's only tulasheni, by trum it's only tulashlishi, and by kedush it's a revi. That's it. And the sherets touch one of these kikris. And then the nogger is shayna bishniyo, shniyo bishlishis, afilo meyot. 
So the din is Kulan Rishon Latoma. So if there wouldn't have been this Mashkin Shul Kedesh, it would have been Stam Kikreis, so then it would be a din to Revi. Mashainkin, since we're dealing with Mashkin, so the rule is by Mashkin, that Mashkin knows, let's say a Mashkin Shul Kedesh that's a Rishon, so it makes the next Mashkin Shul Kedesh also a Rishon, and it can keep going on, a Philomaya. So over here, even though it's not really Mashkin, we're talking about over here Kikreis, and the mashke is in the kikris. You have it's in the kikris a cavity for mashke. But nevertheless, metni ha mashke she begumis the chibes hakedish. And therefore, I didn't call mashke. Since we're dealing with mashke in these gumis, but lechori good is mashke in the gumis. But we're not talking about the mashke. We're talking about the kikris. So the chibes hakedish causes that this kicker should have a din of mashke. She ain't made in them. So we're talking about a kikris shul kedish. Which be'etzim if it would be without mashke, it would be a din rishon shlishi turavi. If it would be mashke itself, so obviously it would be pasha that it goes without without afilumei. Over here it's kikris which has mashke in it. So beside the chibas hakedish, this kikar has a din of mashke, and therefore it keeps can go on afilumei. That's talking about by kedish. Avalam ha'ya kikris truma. If it would be kikris truma, even though it has mashke in the kikris, so then haria kikar shlishi bulvat psula. Only the third kikar is psula. No, it doesn't have this din of the chibas hakedish, which gives the whole kikar a din of mashka. And mishlish is the tor. That's talking about if we're talking about a dry kikar. There's a dry kikar, but in that dry kikar, there's a place for mashka, which is containing mashka. However, vimhoyim mashka tifer al kol hakikris. If there was a moisture on top of all the kikris, is afa bitruma killed meis. So by truma also they're all bitami. And the kulin shnias and all the kikres are going to become shnias from the mashke tiveach. Whereas the mashke tiveach is going to become a rishon from, let's say, the mashke tiveach is going to become a rishon from the mashke tiveach of the first kikr. But the actual kikr will become a shnia. The actual kikr will become a shnia. Chutz min rishen shnogav hasheres. The rishen, the first kikr which actually touched the sheretz is going to become a rishon. And then the mashke tiveach, that kikr is going to be metame. The mashke tefech on the next kikar, and that mashke tefech will have a din of a rishon, but the kikar will have a din of a sheni. And then the next kikar again, the mashke tefech which is on the kikar will have a din of a of a rishon, but then the 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 the, 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 the kikar itself will have a din of a sheni. It'll become that that will be the change. So it'll keep on going. Afila in meya, but on the other end, the kikars rather than being a rishon will be a sheni. So by the case of of the kodesh, the, it ha, the whole kikar has a din of mashke. The whole kikar has a din of mashka. Even without mashka tefeach. Mashainkin, by truma, the kikar doesn't have a din of mashka. But if there's mashka tefeach, so then there's mashka. Halacha yudalef. Ababua hanase buuvi achoves. You have a chavis, a barrel. And in that barrel, there was a bubble. It was, when it was made, the, it, it was created a bubble. So there's a bubble in this wall of the chavis, which is, which is, so to speak, a separate entity. It, it could contain something inside this bubble. And the question is, if something that's in the bubble is considered one together with the chavis or not. That's what, that would be the Nekudus Advarmi. If you have something in the bubble, is it considered united to the chavis or it's not considered united to the chavis? So generally speaking, since the bubble, in other words, if you have, let's say, a hole in the bubble on the outside, so that could, mashka could go into the bubble, and then you have another hole on the inside of the bubble towards the chavis, and the 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 the, the, the mashke in the bubble and in the chavis mix, so then the bubble and the chavis are considered one thing. But medvar mamurim when the holes are either on the same height, so mele when you're going to fill the bubble, everything will go from the chavis into the into the bubble, from the bubble into the chavis. They're united. Now if you have a hole on the outside of the bubble, on the outside of the bubble, a higher hole. And then you have on the inside of the bubble on a lower area. So again, any mashke which is going to go into the bubble will eventually go into the chavis. So therefore, they're considered united. Mashainkin, if you have a situation where you have a hole on the inside of the bubble, which is higher, and then you have a hole on the outside of the bubble, which is lower. So any mashke that's going to go from the chavis into the bubble will flow out, will flow out of the bubble, will flow out of the bubble. So then the mashke, so the mashke basically is like a nitzik. It's like the mashke which is in the bubble is not really settled. Any mashke which is in the bubble is on its way out because since the hole in the bubble is lower 
then the hole in the uh, in the in in the in the um, in the in the in the in the chavis. So therefore, that water is on its way out. So therefore, the water which is in the bubble is not connected to the chavis. That's in the kudus advar. Allah you doubt. You have a bubble in the thickness of a chavis, of a barrel. It's like a separate keli. If there's a hole between this bubble and the airspace of the chavis, and there's another hole on the outside for water to go in, either they're one against each other, they're on the same height, so anything that's in the bubble will go into the chavis. And Vahoyo ha Babua Vahovis Mleya Mashkin, they were filled with mashkin. So there's mashkin in the bowl, there's mashkin in the chavis. Is a noga avatumbi be mashke shababois, nit mukola mashkin shabakovis. So they're considered united, the water in the there's a hole, and they're considered united, the water in the hole, in, in the babua and the water in the chavis are considered one. So if an avatumba touches this mashka, everything becomes that mashka. Now, hoisa chavis mukevis summit puzzle. If the chavis on top was mukevis summit puzzle, unasuna be'elames, but there's still that hole that goes from the into the bubble and from the bubble into the chavis. So basically, there's really a hole. It's not really covered. The hole of the chavis is not really covered because you have that hole going into the bubble and from the bubble into the chavis is nitmis. So what's going on in this chavis becomes tummy because of the hole in the bubble. In other words, you have this, this, this bubble, and mainly you have a hole going from the chavis to the bubble, and a hole from the bubble to the outside. That's, that's the number one, the chen. So we learned that if the, these two holes were on the same height, so then they're considered connected. So in other words, you have the, uh, no, I'm sorry, the chain. Im hoya nek, legabi tzomit puzzle, this din would also apply. Im hanek, if shibabur, shibifnim, or maila, vachitzim, or mata, is also a reza in and it sells us, but tzomit puzzle, because sof called sof, since there's a hole going into the ababua, and there's a hole going from the abab, from this ababua into the, into the, into the chavis, so therefore it's not matzal, but tzomit apostle, there's a hole going from the outside. In the case where the hole on the outside is higher, and the hole, I'm sorry, the hole on the outside is lower, and the hole on the inside is higher, so then, so Melod never really stays in the outside. It's like we said as a Nitzik, it goes out of the outside. So then, if he touches in the Ababua, when the neck of Shebabu Shebifnim is Mumayla. And the chitzin is mumata, nachamol. The one on the inside is higher, and the one on the outside is lower. So memela, when water starts going into the babua, is going to pour out from the nekev on the outside. So therefore, on one hand, is a rezein in nitzavos of some b'tposel. It's not in that nitzavos of some b'tposel because sof kol sof, there's a hole going from the outside to the inside. Avalum noga avatum bababua le nit mumash kishu bechavis the hinam kemuvdalim yam the mayim shebababua is considered separate. From the Mayim Shabachavis, and even if a touches the Mayim Shababua, Ababua, it doesn't become Tommy the Mayim Shabachavis, which is derech, like uh, like we learned in the Gen Itzik, just like when someone touches something that's flowing down, so it doesn't have an effect on everything else. So over here also, this water is flowing out, so it's like a Nitzik, so therefore it doesn't affect the rest of the water in the Chavis.